Hi everybody, and welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil, and... And... <laughs> <laughs> and who are you? Who are you? Uh, oh, oh, I'm Deepa. <laughs> Deepa forgot her phone for subtitles. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Of course, it's 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Who's American, like us? <laughs> what are we doing? We are celebrating the 4th of July by drinking some Scottish whiskey. <laughs> At least we think it's Scottish. And let's see, are there any Americans in? I'm just looking at the chat. I'm not sure. Anyway, so we are blind tasting. Of course we are. Bottle number 192. We're really getting up there in the numbers. Jerry Miller picked this one for us. It's one of about 115 left on our journey to blind tasting 300 whiskies. And just to be clear, the aim is that we have never tried these whiskies before, but we're now, now that we're this far through, we've tasted quite a lot of Ardbecks, quite a lot of Springbanks, <laughs> Highland Park. So we're starting to overlap. Now, will it make it on the shelf? There's a lot of bottles that are no longer on the shelf that are fantastic, but our favorites are still up here. Our less fantastic favorites are down mm. here. You can see the Ardbeg Dark Cove got squished at the bottom. We really didn't like it that much. And we had to double check against Isla Barley. Do we really like it more? And we tried it, we haven't tried it for a while. It was fantastic, still love that 2007. Okay, we should get the viscometer going so that we can forget to watch it later and everyone can shout at us. Go, oh no, not yet. And go, there we are. <laughs> are we underway? We are underway, right, for the next. Oh, happy fourth from everyone. That's quite the Marine Corps haircut, <laughs> Bishop Bramboy. Yes, um, I've, I've just been going shorter and shorter with the clippers. <laughs> I'm like this, shave. Well, I'll just keep going, I guess. <laughs> Happy 4th, uh, yes. Uh, Moronic's in saying hello to everyone. Happy 4th of July, fingers crossed. Stupid drunk people. Don't start a bunch of fires. Oh yeah, we are just starting to see the fires pop up, aren't we, Tim? And now I'm really not looking forward to another multiple month fire season. Hmm. Right, here we go. Let's start another timer for the next 12 minutes. We're going to nose it, taste it, rank it somewhere on the shelf. And I have to say, yesterday's glass, it's pointing at X bourbon again. And maybe an old one, which is typically exactly the type of thing we like. All right, you give me river. I shouldn't say exactly. We have often liked ex bourbon old ones. Not much in there, just a little bit of vanilla, oh, isn't it? Such a vanilla. So it is quite a light, faint one. Right, here we go. Let's pour that glass. Oops. Well, there are quite a few bubbles in there. So, is the timer on? Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. For the next 12 minutes, we're gonna nose it, taste it. Rank it on the shelf. Did I say that already? I think I interrupted myself. Very bright colour. That is bright clear. So no sherry. If there's any sherry well, barrel influence, it's got to be a very, very refill sherry. Now, are we excited? It's a free Ooh, Yes, we are Monty. excited. But. Multi porridge. Now we have this experience with quite a lot. Like we have Ben Rinnis, Glen Murray. We had a, an old Ben Nevis, old malt cask. And they all have that initial uh, kind of vanilla old nose, which I think I'm getting here. But this is quite lemony bright, isn't it? Keep my eye on the viscometer. Mint oil. Mint oil. Now, in fact, it's citrus mint oil. Citrus mint oil. What did I call it? Lemon bitter box. Yeah. 
because there is a bit of oakiness in there as well, but it's dusty, isn't it? It's almost like dry, dusty oak on top. Hmm. Okay. I need a... Pine needles? A pineapple. Bit of pineapple. Let's have a look at the bubbles. We are in pretty big bubble territory. Um, I think we just start with 50. Oh, that's looking pretty close. I'll throw in 56 alongside. Let's see. So this one is 50. The other one is 56%. Maybe the 56% bubbles are a little bigger, but oh, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? In that range. So I think it is. Around 55. I think it is 50 plus. And it could be. Oh. And the viscometer is. It's going to just talk about viscosity. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's call it four minutes. So that comes in. This is another high one. 113% of standard Russian vodka. <laughs> 40 ABV. So we have high viscosity, which could suggest an older cask. The bubbles are good. They hold on for a long time. Well, but it can be, yeah, but that's always. It could be, because that dark cove is not old, mm -hmm. and that, that was also 113%. Oh, quite a bit more of the vanilla, a bit of sponge cake coming up but, now. Uh, that's of licorice on more aniseed. Oh, a little bit of licorice and aniseed? I'm going to go for a watered down version here. But when you see any in product. No peat. No sherry, no wine, we don't think, right? Um, if anything, it could be Reefer. Yeah. It's bourbon. Reefer likes bourbon, and initially I'm thinking it's probably old. Oh, that's quite interesting. That's got um, a much more candy lemon along with pine needles oh, coming out now with the water. That smells quite different. Yeah, we get me the conifer forest. Yeah, conifer forest. This one is a bit more honeyed without water. Okay, have a taste. This is about 50% water. Okay, what's everyone doing? Bobby J. Going with Ben Nevis 20 single cask nation. Ooh, is that a... Is that the uh, ex-bourbon one? I don't think I have bourbon or sherry in the spreadsheet, do I? I should have that. But I need it for the dot of growth. I need spoken. Monty. It's very nice. But light. Yeah, delicate. Actually, more pine needle than sweet vanilla. Yes. Which surprised me. I was expecting it to be sweeter. Let me... um. Let me power this up a bit. Very almost fragile. Fragile. I'm not getting any coconut. Sometimes we get coconut on, like the Bal Blair. Old Bal Blair was quite coconutty. Very uh, Oh, Ralph's going for the thirty-year tour more guess. Could it be that old? Neat. Mm. Oh, quite a bit of spice coming up now. Nothing Prickly. More, um, oil got me up with that stuff first. Zesty. And it's on my dream. Um, quite, quite hot, spicy at the end. Peppery. Let me go again. In fact, I'm a spark that didn't put in. Now it's only watered down 10%, maybe. Because it got this, um, in a sort of spark. storage box of lemons. It is quite dusty oak, isn't it? Um, let me throw up the picture. So, oh, there, I guess this is, this does feel right looking at it now. There's a lot of green blue in there, which is this pine needle zest and lemons. Mmm. 
Let's go for... Let's... For me, it's a mint. It's just a spat apple oils. Yeah. So, good. But... I'm liking it. I think I'm liking it more today than yesterday, but let's go full strength and see what we think the actual ABV is. It's not very American, is it? <laughs> it's a uh, any need together at the same time. Now a bit simpler now. It's, it's, it's very facile. It's delicate. Could that be younger, simpler? Mm. ABV though maybe lower 50s it doesn't seem like it's 54 55 oh it's nice though it's sort of space id but then there's this is it spring banky pine needles <laughs> hang on is that glass just empty oh you know that is slightly funky Mm. I've but suddenly the, thought it could be pine needle cheese, couldn't it? But put that a pine needle. Spring bank. Mm. <laughs> but we do not have enough. We do. With there's an ex bourbon spring bank in there, I think. Um, the thing is, is there. Oh, hang on, spring bank. Now I'm just wishing. Now I'm just wishing it. On my other Emily's side. But I'm not getting you got a bit of stuff, maybe. Well, we've been saying pine needles, mints. We've been like all around it, haven't we? And if the finish is stuff like a minty oil, very okay. Oh, I like it more than I've thought it's spring back. <laughs> so biased. Why not just pick a bourbon on this American celebration day, Moronic? I know. Maybe, maybe you get to pick one later. What say your tasty notes from earlier this week? Okay, Bobby. Deepest notes. Malty, barley cereal, sweet honey, minty candy, but also a bit of aniseed and licorice with the vanilla. Pine needles, a bit of pineapple, oak dustiness and cloves. It could be spring bank. I put water. And then you get more lemon candy with the water. Then palate was more oily citrus pepper. But then also a bit of mint pineapple. See, you've said mint here. The sap of the sucker oil. The pepper. I've drunk all mine. Mmm. It's beautiful. But it's not old. Not it's, old. Yeah, yeah. Mini around for the years. Actually, that's a good a good thought. Um, but it's, okay, let's go here. Older or younger, better or worse? Quite a similar experience. More veggie that one. It's, no, it's older because of the okay. Which one is older? It's older. And do you like it more? It's good. I like it more because it's more depth, more complicated. It's I, simple, clean. I didn't like the finish on it. I think I like this more. Oh, yeah, the finish is tough. Oh, we've got a spider on the roof. But I might get a spider. There's a spider over there. Um, these are these are quite. <laughs> don't worry, it's over there. These are quite similar, but this one is Craig Ellicky Twenty Two. Well, the, today the game. Oh no, hang on. Oh, God, that is green. Yes, Craig Ellicky Twenty Two. Now this is a sherry bud, but you wouldn't think so from tasting that. Very pale, so you never know. This could be a refill sherry. No. So green. Better or worse? Mm, time. It's a bit of sugar, but it's thick sugar. It's but it's 
Ja. Det is more sophisticated. Today is more sophisticated. What about the... Sp- that- what about the strength? I think this is... Det is stronger. Have another sip? I don't think it is. Mm, it too sugary. I prefer today. <laughs> oh, 20 seconds. Here we go. Det is stark is stronger. Mmm. Well, this is 58, so I was pretty confident this would be stronger. I think that is less. Oh, time's up. Better or worse? Mm. Well, this is Royal Brackler, which is currently bottom of the shelf, which just shows you how good our last on the shelf is. I would rather have today's than the Royal Brackler. But well, you put other stuff. I think it's close to the Craig Elliki. Oh, that is very fireworks. I'd prefer it over the Vega. Glenbergi Archives. Talisker 18. Oh. I don't think it's getting up here though, is it? I think we're probably in here somewhere. Mm-hmm. Because it does not fully deliver. Right. For under deliver. Time for guesses. A real American would shoot that spider. <laughs> I like spiders. I mean, because I like because they, they clear up the flies. Mm. It's getting better. It's better every time we go back to it. Would you rather have that than the archives? Glen Talkers. Yeah. Mm. Ugadal. Talisker. Mm, yeah. Now, what about any of these? What about the Buna? I mean, the Octomore. Maybe uh, that area. Would you put it with other spring banks? Mm, no, it could be. The okay. only black room, the only black room, it does not fully deliver. It's well, not like an for me. Let's see, what could it be? I'm just looking at anything 50% ABV. A 24-year Milton Duff. These are 50... I think sherry in it. The potatoes. Yeah. Ben Romick with sherry, probably. It could. I think that could be um, some virgin bourbon, maybe. I don't know. But the guy is very dry. Okay. What about a young Glen Lossy? 58%, something like that. It do so. I think so, too. 50%. It's possible, but 24 years? I don't think so. Right. Um, there's a 29-year Little Mill at 55.8. Yeah, but it's oh. really not that I should, I should bring up the spreadsheet, shouldn't I? If anybody wants to look at the spreadsheet. Uh, let's see. Where is... Where's my spreadsheet? I'm trying to look at to, to scroll it. Yeah, so I don't think it's that high, but maybe, maybe in the darker red. It could be in the 55s. Well, there's a Longmorn 14 at 54.9. There is a Ben Nevis. There's, there is the Springbank. What about if it's a 30-year-old Tormor? And then we have a couple of um, of Brookladdy. Is this Brookladdy as well? Yes. There's a 15-year Brookladdy, 19-year Brookladdy in this. It's not for me. It, it is not for me enough. So can we put it up here? Hang on, 52% Aaron. Ex bourbon cask, probably. Well, let's see, the single grain, 52% in for Gordon. Uh, I'm looking to see. Hogsheads. I think there's probably sherry in this. Um, the food is in a that, oh, so I couldn't go for so, something. Oh, that's what you. Okay, so not the Tormor. I give up, oh, that's what you use. Okay, the Ben Nevis is 23 and 50%. Uh, I, I, no. No, I have Ben Nevis. 29 year Little Mill, you're saying no to that. 
go for the spike. Hang on, I think it might be sharing. Uh, well, it just says refill barrel, 243 bottles. Go for this. It's possible. It could be this, but I'm near. This is I'm a, near this is a 20 year all. Aaron. I don't think so. Again, maybe. Okay, 52% Brookladdy, 15 years old, a 19 year Brookladdy at 53%. Am I going to go for the enough. I'm going to go for the spring bank. I think I've picked this a few times mm, now. I'd go for uh, more 14. Right. Our guess is... It's better me green. Yeah. I just don't know if, there's that, if that's sherry or not. We don't actually have the full bottle of that one. Yeah. We do not. Oh. I must. Uh, just whatever's here. It's a sample. Okay. Right. Over to the chat. Chat. Greg's Whiskey Guide. I didn't notice. Uh, did you add water at some point to the mystery malt? Yes. We started with 50% water, mm. Greg, and then kind of ramped it up. Let's see. I went with the Ben Nevis 20, Bobby J. I really think it's this. Oh, you know, Springback Local Barley 11. That's quite a grassy bear barley. I don't think so. Yeah, we're not thinking sherry. Wide range. Mm, yeah. Phil, the 2010 10-year local barleys are up to 500 on Scotch whiskey auctions. I, I actually have the page open to talk about that. We'll come back to that after. That is mad, isn't it? Right. Time for the reveal. Are you ready? Here we go. Now, ABV. No, first ABV is, ooh, 53-ish percent. So we got that right. Is it below 20 years old? It is not below 20 years old. It is 20 years old. Hang on. What's this? That's 20. I think it's I think it's the Aaron. $87. $87. It is an island and it is from Aaron. Oh no. Close. But not close enough. So this is <laughs> Wow, what a bargain though. $81? And that was from Scotch Whiskey Auctions. Um, so what do we have here? So, right, so 1996, obviously. It is not officer. No, it is distilled on the Isle of Arran. Uh, no, distilled at the Isle of Arran Distillery. Well, hang on. Wait a minute. What is the Isle of Arran Distillery? Because Arran is distilled at Locranza, isn't it? Uh, it's above Isle no, but I'm saying there isn't a distillery. There isn't a distillery called the Isle of Arran Distillery. It's Locranza Distillery that is Arran. Anyway, um, I think someone correct me. I'm not getting a point. The Arran Distillery is not called the Isle of Arran oh, Distillery. Oh, the British school. Locranza. I think someone fill us in on the details. Right, let's see. So this is bottled for Trevor M. Harper. Well, thank you, Trevor. We are really appreciating it. So let's see. This private owner's bottling is from a single... Oh, it's a sherry. It is sherry. Oh! A single sherry puncheon cask produced at the Isle of Arran Distillery, Island Whiskey Region of Scotland, blah, blah, blah. Cask number was filled, let's see, 1996. No color of filtration. Well, I don't really get too many clues from this, but. Wow, but how many no. fermented? How many bottles? Does it give us a bottle count? It doesn't even give us a bottle count. Um, no, we don't even know. But OK, look, let's just look at the color. You can see it, right? No, wrong button. Look at ah. look at the color compared to um, where's that where's that here you go here's 
Here's X Bourbon Springbank. <laughs> Even darker. And it's darker. X Bourbon. Here's X Bourbon Ben Nevis. Again, darker, right? X Bourbon. Yeah. So. Bang. I remember I give it a compare of Aaron, Surrey. Can you give me the. I remember I give it a compare of Surrey and it's Bourbon to Fakaya. It was from Aaron Distillery. Well, the Isle of Aaron Distillery, whatever that may be. Um, get the Aaron 18. Oh, it's heavy. Because there's a little bit in there. I didn't think it was Aaron, so I didn't. Oh, <laughs> I say a little bit. There is a little bit in there. I told you, F14. Let me just have a look at what. This is amazing. Three point six dollars per year. I'll be at out of fourteen. What's the top stuff? Yes, but I don't have the bottle up here. I just want to see: is there anything Aaron-like compared to the eighteen? But the other. Oh. There we go. Aaron eighteen has gone. We only need one glass. Is there anything similar? Not on the nose. Only 46% of course. Uh, but I'm at the 18. That is such a more alive. More earthy mm. if you. Wow, lovely. No sherry influence on that. Wow. Okay, let's go to the chat. It's been quick. It disappeared very quickly. So I prefer this more. We did have a taste of Aaron 14 last night, actually. And we do really like it. So we are saying... I'm very um, sophisticated. Where are we putting this? Where did we end up? It could be somewhere in here, couldn't it? Oh, but let's put it back. I prefer a bathroom. Cameron Bridge, I think I preferred that. Let's just put I it here for now. Bathroom. Let's put it there. Right, over to the chat. Let's see what people thought of that. Oh, let's see. It is the old name of the parent company. Originally, I think Greg is saying. Okay. Locranza is on the Isle of Arran, Bishop Burnboy. And Reb is saying they changed the name. Oh, I see. Oh, Bishop Burnboy, a couple of episodes back, you were laughing at Balekin, reminding you of Bolchinian. <laughs> I think it was you from Men in Black 2. I have to say, I animated on Men in Black 2. It was one of the movies I worked on at ILM with the big kind of uh, underground subway monster. I animated that thing eating a ship. So, you mean, you mean he was bashing the movie? He commented on something which reminded me of the movie. Anyway. Uh, oh, Bishop Burnboy, they can't use the real name. I see. Like saying it's an Orkney when it comes from Highland Park. So Lucas got it. Is that right? Lucas, fireworks for you. And you. how many have you chosen now, Lucas? Uh, they did not have that name when distilled. Ah, I see. So back in 1996, it wasn't called La Cranza. Interesting. And now there are two distilleries on Aaron. That's right. So it's going to get complicated. So they are two the island. Well, Aaron is going to have a peated distillery and a uh, non-peated yes. distillery, isn't it? I think. But Aaron, La Cranza, already makes a peated whiskey. Not I, yet. They do. They they have made peated whiskey. So I don't know what happens to the peated version of Aaron when the peated distillery gets going. It's uh, so cool to Aha. Yeah. All right, let's see. I better jump down. Bobby J, samples arrived safe. Great, Bobby. Oh, that reminds me, we need to do a drawing soon for more samples for people. Uh, weren't we just talking about Aaron? <laughs> Very good. Move to move. Thanks. I'm enjoying the, oh, the rare breed and the four re, uh, uh, four roses. Nice. Yes. 
So Lucas, I Both think of shit I. we need you to pick something. Top shelf, bottom shelf, deeper side, my side. You know oh, how it the, works. Oh, need... Something in the middle. Uh, surprising. Again, goes to show never trust too much on the colour. Well, Whiskey Finn, mm. this is a good point. You say don't trust the colour. There's the bottle. But I would say trust the bo- trust the colour even more because it doesn't matter if it says sherry but when you look at this color you know there's going to be very little sherry influence but you do have to be a little wary when something says ex bourbon but it also looks very dark so that you don't confuse it as a sherry one because we've got an Aaron which looks absolutely dark like a sherry oh, yeah. barrel but uh, oh we got a subscriber big buster thank you very much so I would trust the color in terms of lightness to confirm that it will have very little sherry influence because you can't have a strong sherry influence with a light color, right? I don't think that's possible. Oh, unless it's Fino or something which is a light colored sherry, but that would be a different different thing. Uh, right. Macri Moore, Reb. Yes, thanks. That's the uh, Peter Darren, isn't it? Deeper side, upper shelf, in the middle, second line. Deeper side, upper shelf, in the middle. I think at the back. Or even at the back. Or I see. I think so. Right. Okay. We have got one. Oh, I forgot. There's another comparison. Better or worse? What is it? I'm not going to say it, am I? That would spoil the fun. It's almost bourbon. It's very funny now. I prefer to do this. Do you like it? It's, it's good. I, I like it. It's good. Would you buy another bottle? Mm, uh, <laughs> but if I'm going to do the tap, then I will not buy any of them again. Would you put this on the shelf? Well, it is good. It is good. There, it's, a, it's a for my preference. Do you prefer Royal Brackler? I prefer this one. This one has more good on. It's more interesting. Oh, wow. Old Forester. Happy 4th of July. Mm. Deepa's just put Old Forester on the mm. shelf. Mm. Well, does it more good on? It was actually more savoury. More savoury? Yeah. Old Forester 1920, I should specify. 54%? In a time for me, oh, funny. It's very... Get some more. Deep it asking for more bourbon. Melissa, where are you? Mm, it's very, very permit. Yeah. That's a $50 bottle. Maybe 60 now. Um, best of ABV. 54%. Something, 54 something. Right. I think we are about done. Uh, we have picked number 193. Lucas, how many have you picked now? I do not know. A lot. Can it beat a bourbon? What if this is a bourbon? It is 4th of July. How about always? Let's see. Is it a bourbon? It is dusty. Mm. Doesn't look like it would be a bourbon, but look at the dust level. Oh, can you see it? Quite a bit of dust on that bottle. Doesn't look too high ABV though, does it? What are we going to get? Is that a peat smile? Oh no. That is matchsticks. Wow, tons of matchsticks. That's really <laughs> that. That's like in that Craig Ellicky level. <laughs> okay, one last round up of the chat. 
thanks everyone for dropping in. Uh, let's see, is anyone saying anything? Bobby J, need to carve out some time for those samples. Ah, yes, you do. Ralph, I, I have a Lejeg which is very light, but is refill sherry butt. And darker than, and the darker Aaron from a bourbon cask. Yes, we're the same. We have a very dark Aaron from a bourbon cask. Moo to moo, bourbon is back. Deepa likes a bourbon. Mm, I, I, I'm, I'm very surprised. I'm very yeah. surprised. Uh, Glen Scotia 15, I recognize the color. <laughs> Lucas, Dust in the Wind, a great classic too. <laughs> Glendronic 21, I see Kwame's getting the guesses in early. Have to fire up the grill, Bobby J is saying. Ah, oh, yes. No grill for us. Oh, Deanston 20. That is a fireworks one, isn't it, Teddy? That might not be a bad guess. If Teddy, if it's Deanston 20, Teddy's one. Sherry season stuff or sulfury sherry? Ooh, we'll have to wait and find out, Greg. Okay, everybody. Happy 4th of July or happy whatever Sunday afternoon evening whatever you're doing uh we'll be back on thursday to find out what stinky 193 is <laughs>